Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about Ipsy. So I love getting my Ipsy bag each month and I love watching all of the YouTubers open their Ipsy bag each month, but sometimes I wonder if those people actually use the products in the Ipsy bag. We tend to get some weird products every once in a while, those of us who get Ipsy know that. So today I'm going to go over what I got in my bag and tell you if I've used it, if I've liked it, and just a little bit of an overview of what I think of the product. like. Let me make sure everything's in here. Hold on. One, two, three, four. Okay, we're good. So when I first got my bag, this is what it looks like. Um, I forget what they called this month. Let me see if I still have the... Jeez, I'm late. Prepare yourself. Okay, I don't have the card, but here's my little pink manila envelope over here. So we all know we get our Ipsy bags in these pink little bubble things. And you open it up like this. Mine's already out here, but you usually will get your bag in here and a little card that tells you what this month's theme was. So this month was Rebel and um, yeah, so the bag kind of looks like graffiti print-ish. It's got a bunch of different words on it, you know, like graffiti. It's very bright, colorful. So first I'm going to start off talking about something I was really excited to get in my Ipsy bag and that's masks. I love masks. Sometimes I'm a little nervous to try them though because of my sensitive skin, but I was really excited that I got two sheet masks in this Ipsy bag. And mind you, that's what the other four products already, so that's six products total, which I was really excited about because I think you're only supposed to get like five products in your Ipsy bag, so I was really excited to get that extra bonus mask. And these are both by BioRepublic, and the two, let me see, the two kinds I got, I guess you could say, is Cucumber Breathe and Pomegranate Crush. Now, I tried the Cucumber Breeze one, so let's talk a little bit about that one. I have some footage of me trying it out. It's like any other sheet mask. You take it out, put it on your cleaned face, so you can see me doing that here. And the mask smelled really good, so I was really, like, excited about that, because who wants to put a gross mask on their face? Not me. So, yeah, this mask felt really good, smelled really good, and you're supposed to keep it on for 15 to 20 minutes, so that's what I did. Then, when I came back to take it off, I washed off my face, and sometimes I can't really feel the effects of masks right away. You know, everyone's like, oh, my face looks so good, but sometimes I'm like, all right, this doesn't look any different. So when I first took it off, I actually could feel my face that felt better, but I didn't really see much at first. And actually, I saw a red mark on my face right below my eyes, and I was like, oh my goodness, this thing gave me a zit. This is why I don't always like masks, but I love masks, but I don't like them. It's kind of a love-hate relationship. After a few days of having put this mask on my face, I realized it really did help my skin. That little mark below faded in a week's time, and I think it actually pulled stuff out of my face to help my face calm, like detox and calm down. So I really did like this. Oh, and let me tell you what it was supposed to do. So it says it's for calming, rejuvenated, spring fresh skin. It tightens pores, reduces the appearance of fine lines, and soothes stressed skin and improves complexion. Definitely improved my complexion, definitely soothed my skin. Um, definitely rejuvenated, I guess you could say, and it gave me fresher skin, I would say. So I really did like this mask. Now, I haven't tried the Pomegranate Crush one yet, but this one is supposed to be an illuminating fiber mask, so we'll see if I like that one. Sorry, I haven't tried both, but you know, I gotta save one, come on. So this is supposed to be for radiant, fresh, and balanced skin, and it's supposed to even and smooth your complexion. So I kind of used, saved this one because... This one seemed like it would help me a little more, and I wanted to just try the other one quick and kind of save this one for a later time. So maybe when my face freaks out again, you know, because it's inevitable that it will, um, I'll try this one. So I'm excited for that. Alright, so moving on, I have four other products in here to show you, and I've tried each of these things a little bit, one more than others, but I have tried all of them, so that's a good thing. Because, you know, this is, did she really use them, or will she really use them type thing, you know? So next I'm going to talk about the concealer, and I've actually used this concealer quite a bit because I was really excited to get a concealer too. Once again, only had Ipsy for a few months, haven't always had the best bags, so concealer, this definitely made me excited. And this is the Boo Boo Cover Up Concealer, and it's by Boo Boo Cover Up, so that was a little interesting. But I don't even know what this shade is, I don't think. This is just light, I'm pretty positive, but it's a very small bottle, but it's a very generous helping of 
a concealer, if you would ask me. So this is, um, let me see if it tells you how much is in here. So this is 0.13 ounces, and you really don't need that much if you're going to cover a little spot, so I guess this is pretty good in my opinion. And I did use this on my face, and it was a little white casting at first, I'm going to be honest. Especially since we're getting into summertime, my face is definitely tanned up a little bit. So I used this before it got really tan, so it was kind of close to my complexion color, but definitely still gave me a white cast. But after a few minutes, it sunk into my skin and kind of adjusted to the color of my skin, which I really liked. It definitely covered my um, problem areas. I don't know if it was long wearing, though. I, don't, I wouldn't say it was long wearing, and it kind of felt sticky after a little while. So I kind of have put this in my pool bag. Um... So that I'll just have it on me if I want to touch up afterwards. But I don't think I would use this every day in the morning and, you know, pick this over my other concealers. But definitely for like a pool bag essential, stick it in your purse for an emergency, I'd say it's pretty good. It didn't break me out at all, so that was also a plus. My third product here, fourth if you count the bonus mask, is... oh. Okay, this is the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner, and this came in a little box thing, but I took it out of the box when I tried it. And the color of this, I believe, is Get Paid. So, I love... Okay, back up. I haven't tried ColourPop yet. I've heard a lot of good things about it, so I was very excited to get a ColourPop anything. Just a ColourPop product. Now, another thing to know about me is I don't use eyeliner that much. Um, if I do, it's a softer color. I don't really tend to do lots of wings. Sometimes I'm feeling adventurous. Alright, I'll do a wing, but I really don't do it that much. So I didn't know if I would like this, but I tried it out, and I'll give you guys a swatch. And it's a pretty, pretty rosish gold color. And this would be perfect for, like, one of those eye, eye makeup looks where you put, like, the gold under your eyes to accentuate, especially for the summertime. It probably would even be good around the holidays. So I really do think I will use this when I'm feeling like I want to, you know get a little adventurous in my eye makeup for the day. The next product that I tried was this Lip Teeny. Now, this, when you stick your fingers in it, it smells good. Did I just get that on my nose? All right, anyways, so when you dip your fingers in it, it's kind of, it's not very creamy, kind of stiff, but if you warm it up, it gets there, and it's a really pretty pink color. I don't use a lot of pinks, but I think this is really good to just dab on and once again I keep this in my purse just in case of an emergency this is not one of those products that I have found that I like to just put on in the morning over any of my other products but it does smell good like I said it doesn't smell like fake makeup I've had a few products in Ipsy that smell like fake makeup yeah those go right in the trash I don't like those the color payoff is pretty good it's not like it's kind of more of like one of those lip balm ish like colored lip balm type of texture and look to it once you put it on your lips. I'll put it on for you guys and show you what I what I mean. But it also, it's not, um, it's more drying. It's not lip balm moisturizing status, but the color is kind of like, you know, just a sheen. So once again, good for an emergency, you know, maybe put it on and then put a lip balm over it for just a little touch of color. But I don't think I'll be using this too much, but like I said, emergency. Alright, now this last product I was so excited for. Um, it's an eyeshadow, and it's from The Balm, another one of those brands that I have really wanted to try more of. Um, and this is the Meet Matte Tremoni Eyeshadow, and this is a purple one. And I really, really, really was excited for this because I, um, I love purple on my eyes, but I don't have, like, a purple right now that I really, really like. So, yeah, I was very excited for this. It's just a deep purple. I'll show you guys a swatch. Um, I think you're definitely going to need a, like, primer or, you know, just put concealer on your eyes, whatever, to make the color come out really nicely, but it's matte, which is great, because if you're going to wear a color on your eyes, I always feel like the matte ones look a little bit better. And um, it's deep plum purple, so it's definitely wearable, especially for myself. And I have brown eyes, so purple is perfect for my brown eyes. So I was very excited for this, and I actually did a look with this purple using that gold as well. So I'll show you that a picture of those that look. So yeah, it's in this really cute packaging. has like a magnetic thing, so it's not just going to fly up everywhere if you put it in your bag. And yeah, I'm really excited for this. 
So that is everything I got in my Ipsy bag and those are my thoughts on the products so far. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video a little bit more than just, ooh, first impressions of my Ipsy. This is a little bit of if I'll use it, have I used it, have I liked it, that kind of thing. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe this video and I will see you in the next one.